Adani University is one of pioneering universities in the state of Gujarat primarily because we are very different from the rest of the universities in the country and around the world. Why I say that is because we only concentrate on disciplines which are the sunshine sectors of economy in the country. We have recently started a five-year integrated course in civil and infrastructure engineering along with an MBA in project management. The other important aspect of this particular five-year course is that this is totally compliant with the national education policy of 2020. We provide multi-exit to the students who want to pursue a career eventually after completing their BTEC after four years. But if they continue with an MBA program, they would be able to complete the entire course along with an MBA degree in five years. So that is the kind of flexibility that we provide through Adani University in this five-year integrated course. Why we started it after almost eight months of rigorous thinking is because we saw that most of our students in civil and infrastructure engineering eventually end up doing an MBA. MBA in a generic sense would not be very beneficial to a civil and infrastructure engineering graduate but a MBA in project management in infrastructure is something which is emerging out to be one of the sunshine sectors in India. You all know that any country's economy as well as the GDP growth depends on infrastructure because it gives employment, it has every component where the uh, livelihood of people gets impacted and therefore this particular discipline is something which any student would want to experiment and try rather than going into disciplines where the competition is very high. You all know that Adani University attracts the best of talents in different branches of computer science, information technology, as well as in MBA. But there the competition is so high that people from the best of institutions with best of academic credentials come and they are not able to get employment to their own expectations primarily because there are so many people in the country who why for that particular employment whereas in infrastructure there are very few people who have been trained by a university which has backing of such a huge conglomerate of industry and you will be surprised to know that even our own group is having more than 500 sites where infrastructure development is taking place and therefore the opportunities in this particular sector is enormous and I would suggest students to think about civil infrastructure engineering along with an MBA in project management as a viable alternative to step on your professional career rather than going into a discipline which does not offer you anything.